morning guys from beautiful Bali it was a storm uh, last night it was raining quite heavily uh, so which is good now the air is so fresh and yeah I'm glad there's not much Sun it's actually I want to go out and you know actually walk and do something because yeah if it's Sun you don't really want to do anything so what I'm doing today I will pack my bag, I will just organize everything, I will show you guys where I'm taking with me uh, to that trip and uh, also we'll just go to buy some cheap t-shirts and obviously we're going to eat something, uh, I will take you with, with me guys, uh, so yeah, that's the plan, I love it, I love it here. Morning. Morning. What time is the checkout tomorrow? But tomorrow. You uh, well, tomorrow. Uh, five, five, six. In, in general, what time is the checkout? What I check out at twelve. Twelve. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. Hello. Hello. All right. Let's ask about the laundry. Morning. Yes. So, if I will bring you laundry this evening, yes. in about six o'clock, it, yeah. will be, it will, will, will be done by tomorrow. Okay. By tomorrow. By tomorrow. Because I need to leave the hotel until twelve o'clock. So, like tomorrow until what what time it can be done? Like nine, tomorrow. ten. Nine, ten. Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. And I also want to buy some t-shirts. Not yes. now. When I come back with the laundry, okay. can you show me the t-shirts you've got? Because I just want to like a. Uh, you, not, uh, not like this, just tank uh, top. This one, this one. But they don't have to be anything fancy. The cheapest one you've got, because... This one, this, uh, one, this one, this one. Uh, which one? Hmm. Yeah, that sort of style. This was style. Yeah, but like I said, they don't have to be like super... Like this Supermarket, one. Supermarket, this one, Hurley. Yeah, how much is for how one? How many? Three. I need three at least. Which one? By now? Uh, not now, when I come back with laundry. Okay. Because now I'm going to town. Okay. I will come back, I will buy them. Okay. Uh, but... How much uh, for one? One? Yeah. Up to you. Give you 200 for three. 200 for one? For three. For three. That's a good price. I give you 300. Yeah. Uh, no problem. That's a yeah. good price. Yeah, I don't worry about logo or anything. No, They're just uh, t-shirts just for walking, you know, so. No, no logo? No logo. They can oh, be like plain, even. Plain one. Plain, yeah, simple t-shirts. Yes. I don't need anything yeah, fancy. Yeah, 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 Because yeah. I'm going to travel, I need just yeah, t-shirt just to change yes. every day. Yes, okay. Okay, so. 300 for three, yeah? Yes. Okay, I'll come back later, All yeah? Alright, right, have a good day. Oh, no, thank you. Alright, let's go for coffee, I think. Morning. This is my favorite hydro coco, big one. Hello. Anything else? Oh uh, no, thank you. Cigarette? What? Cigarette? Cigarette? I don't smoke. I only smoke weed. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-eight dollars, one hundred. Okay. See if I've got 20, okay, so that's 10, 30, yep, I don't need a change, thank you. You have 100? Hey? You have 100 coins? I don't need a change, it's fine, don't give me any coins, no, thank you. it's okay. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, good day. So tomorrow I'm leaving 
uh, the hotel. I've got time till 12. Oh, cheers, guys. I've got time till 12, so in, in the morning I'll collect my laundry, I'll pack my bag, I will pack my backpack, and I will drop it to the place where they will be storing it for a few weeks. And then I'm going, you know, starting tomorrow. I'm a little bit worried because it was raining all night. I don't really mind if it's raining, but I need to prepare myself because I don't want to, you know, my bag to be uh, to be wet. So I have some sort of protection on that backpack, but I don't really trust this because unfortunately I'll have some... Hello. Uh, I will have some electronics, you know, uh, iPad and everything, so I will probably have to buy some some sort of bag, plastic bag or I don't know, just in case, just in case I will need to swim somewhere or wherever, I will just like put my backpack in the, in the bag, so at least it will be protected a bit. So what's my plan for today? I'm going to buy some stuff like, you know, sunblock. Thank you. Uh, I'll buy some sunblock and stuff. So uh, yeah, t-shirts are sorted. I don't really need anything else. I will go and say hello to the lovely couple who served me last night. And uh, I'm definitely coming back today uh, for their noodle. I don't really fancy eating lunch uh, because it's already 11 o'clock. And I'm not really hungry after this, so I'll be fine. But I will give him, give them some business, so I'll definitely come back uh, to them. I will have some noodles. I will chat a little bit because you see, guys, it's easy to chat with the with the people here because they speak English, maybe not the best, but at least they understand maybe half of what you're saying, and uh, you know it's great because you know I like to talk. Uh, I couldn't really talk to anybody in Thailand, but yeah, here, here is completely different story and uh, yeah I love it yeah it's not really that hot which is great so it's quite cloudy but yeah it's brilliant hello yeah that's that's the thing when you're coming to when you're coming to the beach, everyone just asking you stuff. Do you want to buy this? Do you want to buy that? Do you want to... Yeah. You know, and I don't, I don't want to be nasty. I don't want to be rude or anything, but unfortunately I have to ignore that because I'm not in a mood. Yeah, this moment I'm wearing headphones or AirPods so I don't look weird when I'm talking to myself and also maybe they they won't be like you know people won't be approaching me and trying to sell me stuff because they may be thinking okay I'm speaking on the phone or listen to music or whatever yeah if you don't want to be rude uh, I think that's the way just put the headphones on and pretend you don't hear them yeah that's the problem here because obviously a lot of these people they're living of tourists you know 80 percent of bali economy it's, it's just around tourism uh and i completely understand i completely understand how fucked they were when, when covid hit so they have to go back to the fields and you know actually making food on the field in the forest in the jungle you know i completely understand that uh like i said this when you're walking and you've been approached a thousand fucking times a day and you have to say no 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 to everything it's just a little bit tiring, you know. Like I said, I don't want to be rude or nasty or like I was in <laughs> to that taxi drivers yesterday at the airport. I don't want to do that, but yeah, they pissed me off yesterday. Yeah. Morning, boys. Morning.
Yeah, I think those guys are closed because uh, it's what? 12 o'clock. Yeah, they probably open a bit la later. Anyway, I'm definitely, I'm definitely coming back there. So this is how the beginning of the Kuta Beach look like. Like I said, it's not impressive. Crazy impressive, you know. I've, I've seen better beaches in my life than this. Uh, but if you look at the waves, you understand why so many people coming here. Because waves here, not actually not here, but a bit more further, they are massive and uh, it's beautiful. Just beautiful to watch them, it's beautiful to swim uh, with them, yeah. The place is really, really, uh, really good for that. If you like surfing, you know, the surf surfing school is in fucking every few meters here. I love all of the sculptures. This is what I was mentioned before in Thailand. I don't really see that sort of sculptures in, uh, in Thailand. They're really detailed and uh, they're really well done. Um, like I said, the sculptures and the statues in, in Thailand, well, at least the statues I've seen, they look plasticky, they look cheap, and uh, they're not really painted well. But if I look at this, it's just like a pure artistry for me, you know, because I'm sculpting stuff as well. and. Uh, I know how much time it will take to do something like this and it's just beautiful. And the imagination and the, you know the whole image of these creatures, gods and it's just mind blowing to me. Yeah, uh, when I just came here first time and I was looking, I was walking around and I've seen like a massive sculptures like this of uh, the gods and uh, other stuff, I was like completely blown away. So what the fuck, who, who making this? Uh, yeah, the, the whole island is full of them. I forgot I've got this cocoa drink. This one is the best uh, from every drinks. From every drinks I tried in Bali, this one is the best. Uh, like, you know, the coconut related. Uh, some of them they're really sweet, some of them they're not like sweet enough, but this is just fucking bomb hydro cocoa. This is my fuel. Now I can spend every day like this, just walk around, drink hydro cocoa and be happy. It's just a simple life guys, just simple life. Fuck, you know, I love Bali. Yes, sometimes people pisses me off here. But it doesn't matter. The place is fucking magical. It has something. It's like good energy in there. So hopefully no one will destroy my vision of Bali. No one kill me. No one fucking rob me, rape me, wherever. When I will be on the way. So, yeah tomorrow how crazy is that i was thinking about this six months ago that i will come to bali and i will just walk around and i'm actually doing it tomorrow you know mind over matter everything starts from here I love it. I absolutely fucking love it. The style, the style of this thing and the ornaments and little add-ons here and there. It's just beautiful. That's a real artistry for me. Yeah. So this is some sort of temple thing. They definitely gather here to do some witchcraft, whatever we're doing here. Sacred area, have some rules, and uh, so we can't cycle here. Uh, 
you can skateboard, you can be on a motorbike and also if you are a woman and you menstruate you can be here, you can be there. So yeah, hopefully they don't check it. Hopefully they don't check it, but I don't really understand why it's like that. What is wrong with the woman who's bleeding? Well, obviously, if you're bleeding for a few days and you don't die, it's obviously something wrong with you. But I mean, what's the problem with that? Why you can't be in a sacred ground when you menstruate? What is, what is bad about this? I need to ask somebody because yeah. I, I was curious about this. Look at the dog. So yeah, I was curious about this. Uh, yeah, why is it like that? So, like I said, I'm still learning. And uh, yeah, let's find out. Let's ask somebody. Guys, if you don't know what acai is, it's like a blueberry thing. I, I used to have it in uh, Brazil. Hello, hey. you the boss? Yeah. Uh, can I have some acai, please? Where do you get the acai? Because I thought it's like in South America only. Yeah. Where do you get this from? Uh, the acai. I, it's like, it doesn't grow here, no? Yeah. Because, yeah, I had acai. You know, I just want to just acai. I don't want any fruits, nothing. Yeah. Just like a just oh, pure, dude. yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't want any add-ons. Okay. So is that imported? Yeah, you uh, don't. Yeah. Yeah, because it doesn't grow here. <laughs> no. 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 It's imported. Yeah. Okay. Because I had this in Brazil. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. Every day. I know it won't be the same, but anyway, I just want to yeah, yeah. taste it. So it's not busy today? It's quite. Ah, okay. It was raining all night. Oh, no, last night it was raining. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a storm. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it will be raining tonight? Huh? You think it will be raining tonight as well? Sometime. Yeah. But not, not all right. <laughs> Is that popular? Are pe people yeah. are drinking it, yeah? yeah. Are they know what it is? No, it's very good. Yeah? Yes. Well, I know it's good, but... Because I didn't see acai before in oh, Bali. Oh, I yes, I know. Not, not before. Just uh, like uh, one month ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I've been here one month ago. I came back from Thailand. Mm. And uh, I didn't see acai before. i seen in Ubud. Oh, yeah. They opened one uh, acai uh, uh, place. But yeah, I didn't really see acai before here. In Ubud there is a chain, uh, it's called uh, Acai Bowl. Oh, yeah. And this is like, uh, it's like McDonald's with Acai. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a chain. Yeah. So they have it in Ubud uh, and they have it in Brazil, the same chain. So, you got 50? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thank sir. Thank you very much. All right, I might come back later for a drink. Okay. Okay, have a good day. Twin pin bar. Twin fin bar. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. See you later. Okay, guys, so this is acai. Well, obviously, it's not acai, acai like I had in Brazil. This is imported frozen stuff, and this is probably not that nutritious how like it will be in, uh, in Brazil. But still, I'm quite uh, longing the taste of it. And acai, it's like a blue blackberry, blueberry thing and it's like you have a lot of like antioxidants and a lot of like a healthy stuff in inside i used to not drink but i used to eat this because acai it's more like an ice cream sort of consistency so i used to eat this pretty much every day when i was in rio uh, this is like strange drinking thing uh, i don't think you're supposed to drink it because it's it's quite thick obviously he's got this frozen and fuck knows how long it was in the in the freezer but yeah let's try it Whew. yeah it's like super humid super hot today mm. yeah he didn't add any sugar or any sweetness 
which is good. It's like a pure, well, it's not pure, but at least there's no extra add-ons. Mm. It definitely had too much water, it's too watery. We're supposed to eat this with a spoon, with some bananas, uh, with some, uh, like, uh, muesli sort of uh, stuff, granola. Uh, it works perfect with this. But yeah, it's good. Mm. It's nice, refreshing. Yeah, it tastes... It doesn't taste exactly the same, obviously, because it's frozen. But... Better this than nothing. I didn't see a uh, sleeping Buddha in Bangkok. So at least I can see a sleeping Buddha in Bali. I know I'm joking, but oh, look at it. It's definitely sleeping, definitely gold. And it's definitely chilling. Hi, brother. Hello. Bike, bike. No, thank you. This thing is a shelter uh, in case of tsunami. You can just go there and hide. And on every shelter, it's pretty much on every beach, you've got one. And there's like a massive statue on the top of it. Yeah, when I spoke with somebody last time, they said, uh, yeah, the tsunami didn't really happen for a long, long time. So thanks God for that. So uh, transport in Bali is quite easy, quick, uh, cheap. Uh, yeah, very affordable. They can even take you on a scooter to Ubud from here. It's about two hours a ride. So they can, you can rent a scooter for a day and they will just take you wherever. Uh, it will be fun. Obviously, it's more fun when you're riding a scooter, but if you don't want to do it, because obviously to ride a scooter here, you need that uh, international uh, driving license. I don't have it. I haven't got time to, to do it. I have a driving license, but not. it need to be international. So it's, you need like a special kind of paper for it. Otherwise, you'll be paying fines and you'll be paying fines anyway, because they will be stop stopping you because you're just white and they, they will just want your money. So police will stop you sometimes with no reason. And then you're just giving them whatever, you know. Uh, so the best is not to show how much money you've got in a wallet. So it's better to store uh, like bigger amount of money somewhere else. And in a wallet have maybe a hundred thousand, maybe two hundred thousand. So then you can say, oh, sorry, this is all I've got. And then they will probably take this and they will leave you alone because they'd rather have this than nothing. and. Um, so yeah, this is how it works here, unfortunately. You know, 200,000 uh, 200, was well, like 10 pounds. And you can just, you know, get rid of police, which is, which is fine. Um, that's the, not many like uh, pros of corruption. But yeah, this is how it works here. So yeah, I, I don't really want to deal with any of that. So I'd rather hire someone and let them ride my ass around. So I'm in a shopping mall at this moment. I'm just trying to find some stuff and I can't. I just want to show you guys the view from uh, from here. This is the, it's not the highest point in the area, but at least you have an idea how the Kuta Beach looks like. Uh, like I said, I'm walking there tomorrow, over there at the end. And I'm starting from, from there. So we'll see, that will be my part for tomorrow. See how many scooters are out there. Fucking hundreds, the whole fucking street full of scooters. So yeah, can you imagine how much money is swimming in that pool? Fucking thousands. The koi fishes are quite expensive, but uh, yeah. It's full of them here. 
I think I'll need a raincoat just just in case. But I can't find any here either. So I bought sunblock, I bought you know aloe vera stuff. Uh, so yeah, I need a raincoat, I need a hat, and pretty much I'm I'm set. And a towel, of course, yeah. Hello, do you know where I can buy the raincoat? Huh? Raincoat, poncho. Poncho, yeah. Plastic. Yeah. Plastic. Plastic is the best. Okay. It's good. It's a good one, like a good quality. Good one, boss. Plastic, good one, not good one. All right, how much is this? Two or one? Hmm? One or two? Do I need two? All right, how much? How much? Two fifty. How much? Two hundred. What? 250 for plastic bag, come on, come on, you're joking. Yeah, you tell me. I give you 100 for two, that's what I give you. 150. All right, thank you. Okay. Well, 100? All right. I'm not tourist, I'm not tourist, don't treat me like one. So yeah, don't treat me like a tourist. I give you 100, it's a fair price for a plastic bag, come on. Uh, all right. No, I'm not looking for anything. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. I want to contrast your hair. Eh? Oh, and my hair is fine. Oh, Thank God. you. Thank you. So you like painting, my friend? I like painting. Yes, come here. No, thank Hi. you. Hi. <coughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. All right, uh, raincoat sorted. <laughs> you know, hard negoti negotiation because, uh, you know, 250 for two fucking plastic bags. Come on, I have to be kidding me. Yeah, you're, you're definitely easy. You can cut the price in half or maybe like three times. Easy, easy. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm not really here to just drag about the price anyway. I've, like I said, I've got my budget for, for the whole tree, but I'd rather to give uh, a bit of extra money for someone who's actually, you know, doing something like cooking uh, food for me. This one is my favorite uh, temple here in this area. Look at the details on the sculptures and the uh, details on the door. Yeah, this is real craftsmanship. I know there's a lot of things is like uh, casted, molded and stuff, but all of it together is just beautiful and just, you know, just next to the pavement. Like lots of temples in Bali look like that. I'm going to eat my lunch. Uh, so yeah, hopefully they are open. They should be because it's what? It's three o'clock almost. Yeah, I don't think it would be nice sunset to do today because it's really cloudy, but the weather is perfect. If it will be like this for the next two weeks, uh, so be it, I'm taking it. I told you I come back. Hello. Hello. I'm hungry. Oh yeah. What would you like to eat? Oh, the same like yesterday. Oh yeah. Okay. But can I can I have like a bit bigger portion? A bit portion? Double? You mean? No, maybe not double, but maybe like half of what I had yesterday. Oh, yes, yeah. Please. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes. Can I take a drink, please? Yes, please. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I'll take the diet coke. Okay. What's it today? Why every women look so nice? It's like celebration or? Today is 
cremation for somebody. Ah, okay. Hi guys, have a look what they have in here. It's uh, kapka, I'm not really sure what it is. Sapo tofu, tofu garlic, that might be good. Chicken, shrimp, garlic, sweet sour chicken. Spring roll, gyoza, burger. So I've got some Western food as well in here. Price of the drinks. Noodles with chicken. So yeah, guys, this is the place, literally just opposite that uh, tsunami thing in uh, Kuta. Alex. Oh, lovely. The big portion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I make a cutting chili for you, yeah? Uh, no? Actually, just, we have that no. sauce. So That's where it's just, uh, the, the plain chili, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Lovely. This one? Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, where's your husband? Oh, still at the cremation. Ah, okay. Uh, there's any ceremony. Have you been go there? No, I, I don't think I want to see anyone cremated. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I, I've seen a lot of things going on because I'm working today, so. Oh. Yeah, but no, I never. Yeah. Where do you stay? I'm staying in the bedrock. Okay. It's not really Hard far. Rock? Bedrock. Bedrock. It's, it's over there. Not really oh, far. Like here. Ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy your thank you. I definitely will. Okay. okay. You look very beautiful. Ah, thank you. All right, guys. Let's let's dig in. Yeah, the portion is massive. I'm quite, I'm quite hungry today, so. Never mind. You make it better than your husband. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him that. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's okay. Beautiful. Oh beautiful. thank you very much, Alex. <laughs> Almost more like that. <laughs> I'm a good boy. I'm eating everything. So my camera just overheated and uh, just switched off when I was talking to her. Anyway, I don't want to go back and do exactly the same. So yeah, it's super hot, so the camera is quite sensitive. Anyway, that was a beautiful meal. So guys, when you will be in Kuta uh, and you will be next to this uh, place, go, say hello. 
try some noodles. They they super super tasty. I never tried noodles like that. They definitely making them special. Whew. So I'm walking around a little bit. I'm trying to burn the calories I had uh, today. Whew. Yeah, I have to say those noodles. She's. Uh, I believe it doesn't matter if you have no them with meat or not. Uh, they will probably cost the same. So with the drink. She asked me yesterday for 40,000. Uh, 40,000 is about two British pounds, so probably like 240, 230 uh, dollars. Um, I will probably ask her to make a bigger portion for, let's say, 50,000. So got two pounds 50 for amazing, amazing fucking lunch, and it's super tasty. Yeah, you, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, if you like noodles, of course. I love noodles. I can eat them every day, but next time I'll try rice, maybe. But, yeah. I have to say, you know, hard-working people. I definitely respect that. Uh, and she was, like, quite busy. She was, like, running, you know, the husband chilling at the party. Of a cremation party, and she's working. You know, this is how it's supposed to be, actually. No, I'm joking. Come down, feminists. No, uh, that's what I like and that's how I, what I respect. And that's why I have no shame rewarding, you know. Yeah, I pay her a hundred, a thousand today as well, which is five British pounds. And maybe I shouldn't do it because, you know, I'm just spoil them, maybe. And they will be expect this from other tourists and stuff like this, but maybe not. I think they, they, they sound and look, uh, they sound and look like a general people and uh, really, I, I was really feeling good vibrations from them, uh, good energy. So yeah, I'm I'm happy to do that. For me, it's not a, a lot of money, and uh, I definitely make her day, paying her a little bit more, which I'm happy to do to do so. No, I need a beach towel, like a big beach towel. Are you selling them? Yes. Over there. Thank you. sunglasses, boss. No, I've got one. Hello, I need a beach towel, like a big beach towel. Do you have any? Massage? No, no massage, thank you. I don't need that, thank you. I just need a beach towel. I have, uh, do you have, it's not like a, uh, because this is like a proper one, like a big one. Do you have like a... I think so, yeah, the, the thin one. So I can just put on the, on the ground. Oh yes, with sarong. I don't know how it's called, I'm sorry. This one. Okay, what's the biggest one you've got? This one. That's the big one. That's the biggest this one. It's the thick one, but a little bit thicker. And how much it cost? Oh, this one, 200,000. 200. 200. Yes. Is that this the same? Thick. Yeah. Same. So that will be bigger or not? Big, big. This one. Oh, okay. Yes, very big this one. That's, that's more my, like my style. Right, uh, I will take this one then. Yeah. Yeah. Just one only? I think so, yeah. I just need one. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm happy with my hair. Thank you. How much? Two hundred thousand. They won't leave me alone here. Oh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. A no, it's no, fine. Okay. Thank okay. you. Bye bye. Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. Thank you. No, I don't need a bag, I've got one. Thank you. You can even give me for free, I've got one. I don't want it. <laughs> Thank you, have a good day. Yeah, there's no such thing like no, because you can say no, but they will find another thing they can sell you, you know. If you don't want a t-shirt, they will sell you a fucking jacket. If you don't want a jacket, they will sell you a hat and sunglasses and everything. No, thank you. you know, there's no ending in there. Which, you know, it's, yes, it's a bit annoying. It was annoying when I just came here. Now I'm just trying to just turn everything in like positive experience and don't be mad about this. It's, you know, they're making, they're trying to make money. Okay, but like I said, with the taxi driver, different, there's way different approaches. You don't have to push because you just scared people. Fruit salad. Uh, and can you make me fruit salad in like takeaway cup? So I can go, because I don't want to sit, I don't uh, have time. Fruit salad. Or fruit salad. Only mango or mix? 
mix of whatever fruits you've got in like a plastic cup so I can yeah. just go. Uh, pineapple, uh, yeah. watermelon. You can put any fruits but no onion. Yeah. I don't yeah. want any onion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. How are you? Hello. Where you been? I've been in Thailand. Oh. I just I came back yesterday. So What's your name yeah. Again? Alex. Alex, nice yeah. to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You Happy New Year. Happy New Year Christmas too. gone. <laughs> I forgot about Christmas. For a month. One month? Where yeah, I'm staying another month. Another month. Where do you yeah. stay here? I'm staying in a hotel called Bedrock Hotel. Bedrock? Yeah, not far from you. Yeah, maybe need something at the day. I don't need anything. I've got t shirts, I've got everything, so thank you. Yeah. How you can live here every day is so hot. <laughs> it's crazy. Do you think it will be raining today? Uh, or a night? Last night, yeah. It's still 50? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Do you have No, I don't need a change. Thank you. Okay, thank right. you. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, Happy, Happy New Year. Where is it? Uh, bedrock? Oh, bedrock. Bedrock, yeah. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, guys, let's have some fruits. Yeah, I don't want to take... Mm, nice. I don't want to take coconut from there because last time she served, the, served me the mm, warm coconut, which I don't really like. It's quite sicky. Yeah, the fruits. Mm. Nice and cold. Lovely. Yeah, and, uh, those women, they recognize me here. because I was here pretty much every day. So yeah, I have a little groupy situation in there. Mm, those fruits, super juicy. So I paid 50,000. Um, two pounds, two pounds 50. I was talking to the other guy before, yes. where he is. T-shirt or uh, your laundry? I will or bring laundry in a minute, I just go yeah, to hotel yeah. and uh, and I will bring my laundry. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, Excel, really simple, I don't need anything yeah. fancy. This one, Excel, right? Excel, yeah, I think so. Yeah. This color? Uh, they have grey, uh, more like a greyish. That blue? Yes, can be. Nike, Nike? Nah, I, just, I don't care about the brand. Kuta Bali. Kuta Bali, okay, but it's red. No, I don't like red. Don't like red? Oh, pink, pink, pink. Oh, it's pink. Come on, I'm a man. I'm, I'm not a girl. What about this uh, white one? You've got... Uh, uh, higher, higher, higher. This one. This one here. Oh. Oh, Ganesha. I like this one. Ganesha. Ganesha, yeah. Yes. Is that the same uh, tank top? So, yes. Yeah. In Can I just check place. one, uh, just the size, if it's okay, yes. the XL? Yes. It's one, buddy. Yeah, I just quickly put on a... See if it's not too small. Yeah. It's only for walking. I won't be going to the club in this. Oh. Yeah, it's only for walking, because I'm going to travel tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow? Yeah. I'm going to... Oh, yes, perfect, boss. Perfect. Three of them. Three? Yeah, one and three. Three. Yeah, the yeah. Ganesha one. XL. Grey. Uh, and that grey I can take. This one, yeah? Maybe. Yeah, I think I prefer this one instead of that one. So oh. yeah, I will take this one, this one, and this one. And, uh, and this one. Perfect. Three? Three. Yeah. 900, boss. How much? 900. No, you're joking. How much? For three. Come on, I told he told me a hundred thousand for one. So I'm taking three. No, 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 no. All right, I come back when the other guy will be. I spoke about price with him. He said a hundred thousand for three. And I agree to that. 
300. 300, that sounds better. I'm not a tourist, so don't yeah, treat me like yeah. tourist, okay? Where are you laundry? I'm bringing a minute. All oh, right. I'm bringing a minute, so one. The reason I need a specific price because I've got specific I've got budget. Not do one. Take not do one. No, I don't need another one. I need three. Right, I come back in a minute for for long, with laundry, okay? okay? I just go to the to the hotel and bring okay, it, okay? okay? Thank you. Oh, my lovely mess. All right, guys, I show you <laughs> the hard negotiate negotiation about three fucking t-shirts you said when i spoke the guy with the guy that's why i asked about him he gave me 200 uh price for three t-shirts and i told him i will give him 300 out of you know out of goodwill and there's another fucker sitting there and he told me 900 you know come on so yeah guys never take the price they will tell you always ask for you know at least 50 percent cut because they overcharge you because you are white, you are walking wallet. I don't complain. For me, it was funny because he was like, uh, yeah, I, I was uh, like ready to walk away. Usually if you, if they tell you the price, just, you know, if you're not happy with that price, just start walking away and they will chase you. They will chase you, you'll get the best price possible. But I don't have time to, for it and I don't have like energy uh to do this so yeah i said 300 i'll give you 300 and i gave him a uh, hundred thousand too much but anyway fuck it uh now i'll just pack my bag uh i'll bring him a laundry see how how much he will charge me for the laundry because yeah the, the guy told me twenty five thousand for a one kilo uh, we'll see how much he will tell me now uh guys welcome to bali that's the reality here but it's quite fun. It's not harmful, you know. It's just they're just trying to hustle. I have to respect the hustle. So, how do I look like? Well, guys, I know those T-shirts. They are rubbish, you know. But uh, that's why you need the rubbish T-shirts like this, because you know when I will be walking, I will, the last thing I want to do is just to do a fucking laundry on the way. So I will just throw them to the bin after a few days of wearing them. So I'm not really attached to the t-shirt with the fake uh, Harley uh, logo. Anyway, yeah, they, this is not important. But I was thinking like when I was taking a shower, should I really go back in there? No, I will, I will give my money to someone else. I've seen another laundry on the way. I will go there and uh, you know, because I just feel a little bit shit. You know, I, I offered him a good price and he just tried me and tried to overcharge me. I know this is a different guy, but still, he knows I was talking to the guy and he still tried to overcharge me. So you know what? Just fuck them. I'll just go somewhere else. I'll go somewhere else. Yeah, there's laundries everywhere, pretty much. Around every hotel there, we've got a little laundry. Obviously, they don't make laundry here. They were just taking it somewhere and bringing it back. But you know, fuck the other guys. I don't want to give them any more money. Love Laundry Express. Two hours ready and delivery and, you know, everything. Let's go there. See how much they charge. Let's say it's two hours ready. And then three hours ready. So it's two hours ready or three hours ready? Because I'm confused. <laughs> Hello. Uh, how much do you charge for long for laundry per kilo? Thirty thousand per kilo. Okay. Can I leave you my bag then? Can you just wait it and see how much is that? Seven so p.m. Yeah. Today. Yeah. You want today or tomorrow? I can. I can come at seven. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Today. So two kilos. Yeah. 
So sixty thousand, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. It's working. Yeah. No? Just need a bit of patience, Alex. Here we go. Yeah. So we're at seven. So what? What time is now? Uh. Okay, twenty. Five. Okay. So three hours. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Close 8 p.m. Yeah. Close at 8. Okay, yeah. I will be before that. Thank you. Thank you. Have a drink. Thank you. Yeah. See you soon. So yeah, and this is how we make business. With a beautiful smile on the face. Wow. Really sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. <sighs> yeah, guys. Uh, he was still like shouting at me. Just, just want something. I don't know. I don't care. This is, you know. I know I'm not spending fucking millions here, but it doesn't matter. Don't treat me like an idiot, and I will bring you some business. Easy. Uh, okay guys, I want to show you what I'm actually taking in, to my trip with me. So as you see, I've got this uh, raincoats, two of them. I've got one, two, I've got three t-shirts. I will actually take four of them, So, but the rest is in the laundry. So I've got this uh, towel sort of thing, uh, just so I can put uh, this on the ground and I can sit on this or sleep on this. Whatever. So I'm taking one cream, uh, shower gel, uh, shampoo. I'm taking uh, uh, UV thing for sun. I'm taking aloe vera if I will burn myself. I will taking uh, uh, deodorant and uh, odor fighter. Uh, it's actually a perfume. It's like a uh, if I will go into you know want to speak to any people or wherever I will be sweating. So at least that will give me a boost confidence that will boost my confidence uh, so I'm taking my camera it's DJI pocket 3 I'm taking this I'm taking my uh, headlamp headphones my uh, SSD I'm taking this camera I was filming today with uh, with the case so if I want to attach any light uh, a microphone I can do with uh, with this so this is a tripod thing my battery pack uh, my watch my uh, lucky uh, bracelet obviously toothbrush and uh, toothpaste this is charger for my uh, headphones for uh, my airpods obviously airpods they charging now uh, on a cable my sunglasses uh, this is the lamp I can actually attach to the case if I will be filming at night. This is the batteries for that camera. Uh, also tripod. This is the thing I can plug into my iPad and just uh, download the footage. So this is like a hub for USB. I can charge things. I can just download stuff from it. So cable, obviously, another cable. This is my thing how I'm wearing on my neck when I'm walking around. My microphone. Um, obviously my wallet, my charger, uh, iPad and ev all of this need to fit in this backpack. So yeah guys, this is my setup. This is what I'm taking with me. Obviously uh, some stuff is in the laundry. I will have like uh, two pairs of shorts uh, and three pairs of underwear and uh, one uh, speedos just if I want to like swim or something like this. So this is my whole setup i'm taking with me and of course my phone which is i'm holding now <laughs> 